Hi there. So I'm Neil Allison, and uh, excuse the uh, the title. It's a bit unwieldy, but hopefully it does what it says on the tin. In terms of links to the LNT theme, it could be linked to a few things, but in particular, evaluating our uh, our provision, let's say broadly, uh, more specifically, evaluating educational services uh, where. It's not enough or we can't evaluate the quality of what we do purely based on, on results, on learning. So we're looking at proxies for quality, basically, and the most famous one, perhaps, is Evesis. Most of you will be familiar with that. So there are a series of prompts that ask students to, uh, to comment on their experience, and that is supposed to be some kind of proxy for quality. Evesis and other similar things influenced me to do a study a few years ago, uh, particularly because I have a lot of Chinese students and I wondered whether the results were directly comparable between Western nationalities and uh, Chinese, Japanese as well. Uh, so I did a survey, which I got 117 responses to. I also did a diary exercise where I asked students to uh, keep a record of their experiences related to prompts such as engaged and satisfied. Uh, the data that led me to analyze and compare Chinese and UK nationalities, and in terms of the headline findings from the research and from the, uh, the literature, these three points are perhaps your takeaway messages for the, st the study. Uh, so firstly, Chinese students are more likely to focus on a positive experience compared to uh, UK nationalities. Uh, secondly, the attribution. So Chinese students were more holistic in what they uh, credited with positive experiences or blamed for negative experiences. And Thursday, uh, Thursday, <laughs> thirdly, uh, where they, uh, whether they centered themselves uh, in terms of the locus of effect. So we're thinking here about, um, you know, whether you're thinking about yourself or thinking about your group, the class, etc. So Chinese students more holistic. Uh, in terms of the theory uh, that underlies this, uh, I'm going to talk today briefly about two particular aspects. One is uh, biases, psychological biases that connect to attribution, and the secondly about customer service orientation. So the two particular biases that are uh, having a major effect here, one is a difference in East and West on hedonistic bias. So hedonistic bias dominates in the West where we uh, credit ourselves with positive experiences and more likely to blame external factors for failures. So in simple terms, I passed the exam because I'm a genius. I failed the exam because it's the teacher's fault. And then fundamental bias, which is our likelihood of overemphasizing the personal. In terms of how these two might link together, fundamental bias may be I failed the exam because the teacher was uh, lazy and hadn't prepared properly for the classes. It's not just that they hadn't prepared, but they were actually lazy. A couple of examples from the survey when I asked students what they thought about what happened to the feedback that they provide. So Franco there, for example, saying a lot of lecturers have big egos. So that's fundamental bias there in, in, in operation. Second problem, so the consumerist lens that we encourage by using these uh, types of surveys so a, a, a widely commented problem is whether students know what quality is. Uh, in language learning, as an example, students come with their own experiences and because of those experiences, their own preferences. So they think that if they get those preferences, then that's good quality. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the prompts are more likely to, to push, certainly Western students, to think about how the experience affects them personally rather than looking more holistically. Uh, and biggest problem is the reduction of agency, which I, I think is best summed up by the next slide.
Okay, let's talk about how we might respond to these. Firstly, theoretical, and then secondly, a bit more practical. So firstly, avoid consumerist lens, uh, avoid terms like satisfied and engaged, anything that relates to a sort of a personal feeling. Give a clear direction on what you want the students to focus on for their attribution. So fair enough if you want them to, to focus on the teacher, but there may be other things that you want them to focus on. And also that explicit focus means there's more likely to be parity between different cultures. And also get them to explicitly think about the consequence. Is it a personal consequence, personal effect that you're interested in, or are you looking for things more holistically? A couple of other things I discovered through my work that weren't mentioned earlier, make feedback timers. So uh, the students frequently commented in the survey that they were frustrated that through Evitus, for example, that they do it at the end of the course, they don't feel they're going to benefit. Another thing that came up was that some students are uncomfortable or unhappy with particular modes. So if you provide different modes for feedback, you're going to catch more. A few practical examples. So if we take the Evisys, I know we can't necessarily change Evisys, but we could augment it or do our own surveys as I do. So I'm satisfied with the overall quality of the course. Uh, scrap it. NSS in England are scrapping their approximately the same prompt. Uh, the course was intellectually stimulating. Adjust that slightly so that we can say what we want them to attribute this to. So it, although it says the course, uh, that some students are going to look at um, different attributions, such as um, the teacher, uh, even though you're not asking them about that. So give them explicit instruction on that. Uh, and then the tutor explained things well. So this is, again, leading to a personal uh, feeling about something. So instead, let's think about what they actually did if they didn't understand. So we can provide some options. And there, if they rarely needed a, 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 an explanation, then presumably teacher explained things well. But if they didn't feel they understood, what did they do about it? Which might also lead to useful uh, information about whether you are seen as open to contact with students, you know, how approachable you are. A few further ideas that I'll just flick up on the screen so that you can read them, pause the video, whatever, so I don't go over time. And then in a sort of meta style, have a look at my survey, if you don't mind, fill that in, but also I've tried to take my own advice. And if you're interested in some of the literature, that would be a starting point. I do have quite a long list that I can provide you if, if needed. Thanks very much.